Welcome to Pawpaw TV. Today we present an original program, One on One, with Jerry McLaughlin. He discusses his life's work with Richard Lund. Today's program is brought to you by Gojis.com. Gojis.com. Your eyes will love you. This material is for educational purposes only. If you are sick, see a doctor. Maybe you can find one that speaks herbal medicine. And now, one on one with Jerry McLaughlin. When I was uh, getting ready for people, did you make any last tests to make sure? Oh, certainly. Okay? We had to go through, uh, you know, several steps. I, I did feeding experiments, for example, in mice, mm -hmm. and I found that I could go up to one percent of this extract in their diets, and they could walk away with that, no problem. But when I went to five percent in their diets. Then I killed them in three days. No, mice don't vomit, okay. so they can't throw up stuff very effectively. Mm -hmm. So they don't have the safety valve of getting rid of something orally. Uh, we did AIMS testing, which tests for carcinogenicity or mutagenicity. You know, most anti-cancer agents kill. I mean, most anti-cancer agents cause cancer. Well, yeah, they scramble DNA and change DNA bases in a way that causes cancer. So I wanted to be sure that this stuff didn't cause cancer, and sure enough, it came out fine in the Ames test. We did guinea pig sensitization studies mm -hmm. on the skin of guinea pigs, looking for a poison ivy type of effect, and you know, sailed through there. Mm -hmm. uh, See, so we did a with the shampoo. We had to do a test called the Dries test, which I don't like to do. It's it's in the eye of rabbits, and they sailed through that. No no irritation in, in the eye of the rabbits mm -hmm. in the shampoo and the shampoo base was fine too so mm -hmm. uh, and then finally the, the final step was in beagles and uh, knowing that the stuff was emetic you know I felt that we're probably safe giving it to the dogs and sure enough we killed no dogs mm -hmm. in, this, in this procedure we we got up to 32 of these capsules four times a day so that's I think 128 capsules, and uh, and the dog simply vomited, and then they would go their merry way, mm -hmm. and they ate and they gained weight just like the control dogs. And at the end of the experiment of you know many weeks, Dr. Devere told me that he says, "Jerry, I've never seen an anti-cancer substance which was not toxic, mm -hmm. but you've found one." Mm -hmm. And so vomiting is the safety valve. And we've had one lady who took 52 capsules at one time. Uh, I don't know if she was trying to commit suicide or what, but she had a, a very aggressive tumor in the rectum, and it softened that tumor. The doctors couldn't believe what it did to the tumor, but she didn't throw up, which was amazing. Mm 